Time? It's time to talk with Michelle Ombi for Business in the 217. She's the publisher of the Springfield Business Journal, and she joins us now as she does each and every Wednesday. Michelle, thanks for taking time and a lot to tackle this morning. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. Uh, we've got, of course, uh, happenings all over uh, the town and outside of Springfield. But uh, let's start with uh, one of the larger industries in Springfield, and that is um, Springfield Clinic getting involved in what could be another major industry once we get all the pieces into place for the sports clinic. Uh, tell us about uh, what happened uh, outside of Shields this past week. Yes, good morning, Greg. Well, last week we talked about the uh, groundbreaking for the new Shields Sports Complex, which was one week ago today. But now some additional information has come out regarding Springfield Clinic, and they are going to be what they're calling the health and performance partner for that new sports park. Uh, no word on an exact dollar amount, but they have confirmed that it's a multi-million dollar commitment over a 20-year period, so certainly very significant. And, of course, Springfield Clinic's been in the news a lot over the last couple of years because of their ongoing uh, dispute with Blue Cross Blue Shield, which has yet to be resolved with uh, the clinic claiming that they are not able or willing to pay the, the higher reimbursement rates that Blue Cross demands. But uh, as part of this partnership, Springfield Clinic is going to construct a, a brick and mortar building attached to this, you know, they're going to have this giant air dome so they can do uh, indoor, have indoor fields year round. Springfield Clinic's logo will be on that dome and they'll build a brick and mortar building right next to it for sports medicine. They're also going to build a walk-in clinic uh, that'll be more of a general practice type of thing that will be outside the sports park, but still within the boundaries of Legacy Point. So they will have a pretty significant presence there uh, for both general medicine and sports medicine for all of these uh, athletes and their families that are anticipated to be traveling to Springfield. And that dome, by the way, uh, I'm told that it <laughs> it's going to be bigger than Shields. Is that is, is that for real? Significantly, yes. Wow. Yes, and they're saying that it's the largest of its type in the world. So That's sounds great. pretty impressive. No question. So uh, big news there. And, of course, the partnerships coming together, uh, not just Shields sponsoring the sports park at Legacy Point, but also Springfield Clinic stepping up uh, to provide uh, some of the, the medical services that uh, athletes need. Uh, and obviously this is going to be considered something, once it's completely finished, a major draw from people coming from outside of Springfield, even from outside the state possibly, to uh, take part in travel sports types of events from, you know, baseball fields to soccer fields to, you know, indoor facilities. Uh, so uh, I think uh, 2025 is when they'll have everything in place. Uh, we'll see how much uh, business that indeed drives, not just across the city, but also in that section of Legacy Points. Uh, Michelle, other things going on, of course, in and around the Springfield business community. You guys with the Springfield Business Journal have your fingers on the pulse. Uh, but let's talk about a uh, new owner for Secure Dental and uh, what this means for the community. Yeah, so Secure Dental is uh, on 687 Linton Avenue down in the Park South area. And as of earlier this month, Dr. Jorge Mosquera has purchased that practice. So it is he's changing the name to Makeover Dental, and he is a he specializes in cosmetic dentistry. So they're also changing their focus a bit from a general dentistry practice. Uh, so they are now up and running. They've still got the old signage up, but they're operating under the new name and starting to provide these uh, new services. And another change that we've seen with a local business is the Keep Store. We talked about them a little over a year ago. Last May, they opened Springfield's first refillery downtown on Adams Street, where you can go and uh, basically get your household products, you know, soap, shampoo, laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, things like that. But you, you buy them in bulk using refillable containers. So the whole idea is to be more environmentally friendly, cut down on all this single use plastic and the waste. And uh, owner Amy Shelton has now moved, but she hasn't gone very far. She's right next door at 312 East Adams. She said it was just really a, a better floor plan and better layout to be able to display the products. So they are having a grand opening, reopening, and ribbon cutting uh, this Saturday at 9 o'clock. Pretty inventive idea and uh, something I think a lot of people uh, are gravitating towards because I tell you what, Michelle, yeah, I, I hate having to, to get small little plastic items of things that I use a lot of, and then we just have to continuously, you know, re-up getting more of these little plastic things. So being able to actually take, uh, you know, your own container in and, and fill it up with the items that you need, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty uh, incredible idea. And uh, something I think a lot 
lot of people are going to be um, looking to, to, to take advantage of. Uh, again, we're talking with Michelle Ownby, publisher of the Springfield Business Journal, here with Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY. Before we talk about the next food week, let's talk about how people can get their hands on the SBJ. Sure, you can get on our website at springfieldbusinessjournal.com. We actually just launched a, a new and improved website last week, so it should be a little bit easier to navigate. And BizBytes, our weekly newsletter, comes out every Wednesday, and that's free of charge. So if you get online now, you can still sign up in time to uh, receive the edition that comes out this afternoon. To make that happen, Michelle Lombi, publisher of the Springfield Business Journal. Uh, one of the great things about uh, our community here in Springfield is all of the great restaurateurs and the unique flavors that they bring to the table, literally. Uh, but you guys, with uh, Springfield Business Journal and your sister publication, the Illinois Times, you do efforts to highlight all of the great flavors and all of the unique things that these uh, restaurants are making for people to enjoy. We've had Burger Week. We've had Horseshoe Week. Uh, we've had uh, a variety of different types of food weeks. But we're at it again with, uh, well, uh, all things chicken. Yeah, so this is a new one for us. Uh, we, we do listen to reader feedback, and we've had a number of food weeks over the years, as you mentioned, and some favorites like Burger Week that come back every year. But one of the suggestions we got, <clears throat> excuse me, that we got was to focus on, on chicken. So this will be, uh, it's going on now through October 1st. It's an $8 price point and a number of different local restaurants participating, creating off-menu items. So we've got everything from uh, Say Goodbye to Summer with the Aloha Chicken Sandwich at Fire and Ale, a lot of the classics that you would expect, like Country Fried Chicken at Main Gate, Chicken and Noodles at Weevils, Chicken Parmesan at Silver Seven, and then uh, Legacy Point Eatery, speaking of Legacy Point. Uh, they actually came up with a side dish. They're doing a, a buffalo chicken dip with their homemade chips. Oh, so my gosh. Wide variety, but you can go on the 217 Food Week site to see uh, some tantalizing photos of all the different options there. You just sold me on that buffalo chicken dip with uh, their homemade chips. Um, Legacy Point, thumbs up on that one. We will be there. Uh, to, to grab that item. And one thing about this, Michelle, is, you know, the, these items uh, for these special weeks you guys carve out, it's something that you got to get while it's happening because they may not carry that on after uh, all thing chicken week is over. Right, right. And it's a good excuse. You know, if there's a restaurant you haven't been to before, or maybe a favorite place you haven't been in a while. Uh, again, these are these are local restaurants, and we all know the importance of supporting these uh, mom and pop places. So it's a good reason to get a little more creative when you're dining out. Absolutely, Michelle Ombi, publisher of the Springfield Business Journal. Always appreciate taking time with you and you keeping us updated on all things happening in and around the business community. Uh, be safe out there, okay? All right, thanks, Greg. It is Springfield's morning news on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's news and.